Morning, y'all. Um, I wanted to do a little addendum to the video I posted last night on uh, kinds of deeds. And again, this is all um, South Carolina law, not um, not applicable necessarily anywhere else. Um, there are lots of different kinds of deeds, but the three that I most commonly see, um, you're gonna see your general warranty deed. General warranty deeds are what it sounds like, um, that the person who is conveying the property, the grantor, um, to the person who is receiving the property, grantee, uh, is transferring full title, all the title. And, and essentially when that person signs the deed, when the grantor signs the deed, he or she is giving a warranty, just like when you buy a car. Um, and the, the grantor is guaranteeing that <clears throat> good title is being transferred. So that one you have to be careful with. That's why you have a, a lawyer review the title. <clears throat> and that lawyer also tells the grantor, hey, you've got good title, you can transfer it. That's that's a that's a general warranty deed. And if you if you don't transfer good title, uh, theoretically, a grantee could bring suit against you. And you as the grantor would have to defend them. In fact, that's what the language of the deed actually says. And shall ever for and shall forever defend. Um, and in fact, your heirs and assigns. So if you die and then your children are still alive, your children could get sued for it because the guarantee doesn't run out, at least not that I've ever seen, but also I've never seen anybody sue a grantor. And that mean it doesn't happen, just never seen it. And that'd mean it can't happen. So general warranty deeds. So that's, that's the most common, that's what you want because that gives you everything and you've got a guarantee and if you've got a lawyer, you've got a, an insurance policy that backs that up. Um, not only that, but you had somebody who knows what they're doing, review it first. All right, second kind, which is the next most common kind, is a quit claim. And I've heard people call it quick claim and stuff like that, but it's Q-U-I-T. T is in Tom, quit claim. And when I was in law school, my law school professor got a big old grin on his face. He was a bit of a ham, um, man after my own heart. Uh, he, he got a big old grin on his face and he said, listen, anybody has a hundred bucks, I will give you a quit claim deed to the Eiffel Tower. And he said it with the most confidence in the world. And everybody was like, what do you mean? And he went on to explain a quit claim deed transfers all title and interest that the grantor has, if any, um, <laughs> and that's that's the dangerous one. That's the one that that Led was really talking about. That that you see from scam artists, they give you a quick claim deed because people don't know generally the difference between a quick claim and a and a general warranty. Um, and that quick claim, you can't sue on it um, because literally it says I might not have title, but I'm going to sell you what title I have if I have any. Um, and so that's what you're buying. Most often we use quick claim deeds you know, from parent to child or, or like I said in the other video from cousin to new grantee um, in the event you know we find that there's a problem in the title and we just need to cut off that potential uh, cloud or that potential issue in the title. So that's the quick claim deed. Stay away from those unless your lawyer says that's what you need. Okay. Um, the last one that's somewhat common, but I'd put it in the sub 10%, sub 5% that I see is a limited warranty deed. And you most often see that when there might be a problem on the title. Um, around my area, for whatever reason, back in the 70s, 60s, 70s, I guess there was a huge rush about oil and uh, drilling for oil and oil rights. And so you, we see a lot of deeds back in the 60s and 70s, and I guess back into the 50s too, where the grantor would have reserved the rights for all the oil. I mean, most of those grantors are dead now, um, but those, those restrictions still exist. 
Um, and most people around here just ignore it. Um, I mean, even in the town limits here. So, but most people in the town, you know, we realize that there's no oil here. At least nobody's found any. Um, if somebody ever found any, we'd have a lot of issues. But um, in any event, you know, it's something that I, as the attorney, have to make sure that people know about. And so a lot of times when we do those kinds of deeds, we do a limited warranty deed. Um, but then sometimes the grantor is willing to do a, a general warranty and just, you know, roll the dice on anybody ever finding an issue there. But also, um, it's just not very common. I, you know, I just, I, I prefer either quick claim or, or general warranty. It just makes things simpler. Um, but we also see transfers from say mother to child or father to son or, or father to child or whatever um where there's no money changing hands it's just a gift and then and we see this a lot of in, in older folks um and, and i'm not getting into medicare and medicaid and the whole issues that that get involved there um when, when people get later in life and and get you know near near the point where they would need health care and that sort of thing. Um, but a lot of times you see a, a deed, and it's usually a general warranty, um, from parent to child that says, I'm giving it to my child, but I'm reserving a life estate for myself. Um, it's not a separate kind of deed, but it is a different kind of transfer because you reserve something. And you can always reserve rights to a piece of property if you're going to transfer an acre to your son or your daughter um or your friend or whatever i mean you can always reserve certain rights you know the right to drive across it an easement um i mean easement for power line easement for sewer um you know those those are are fairly common um you know reserve you know a reserving um the right to cut timber you know you can always do that um but we see these 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 life estates, and it's and it's done so that you kind of skip probate, because um, probate. I mean, it's not free. I mean, you still have to pay for everything and all that. But if you do, at least in South Carolina, if you do a a deed to your child or to whomever you want it to go to, and reserve a life estate unto yourself, it belongs to you, the grantor, for your life. That means as soon as you pass, um, as soon as you pass the property automatically transfers, title automatically transfers to your grantee, whoever that was, and they, they, they're they named or called the remainderman, um, remainder man. Um, basically, they hold a remainder interest, and their interest only becomes viable uh, after your passing and immediately upon your passing, and it skips probate. It does not have to go through probate at all. Um, it's a good way to basically stopgap and, and and if that's the only thing you have that's the only thing you own other than maybe some bank accounts because you don't have to probate bank accounts um you know certainly you'd have to comply with a will or or all that with probate but um really i mean if you put if you put all all your money with joint with right of survivorship something like that um and there's different vehicles for that talk to your bank about it don't you know that's not something i really get into um and then do these life estate deeds you don't need you don't need to have a estate assuming that's all you have now if you got stocks and bonds and retirement accounts and all that craziness there are ways to skip probate but it's always it's always good to have a will i mean i'm 35 my first will was written when i was 18 of course that's because my dad's a lawyer but still it's good to have a will if for no other reason than to resolve any potential disputes between your mama and your wife or anything, any sort of issue that you may have or your daddy or your brother-in-law or, you know, well, I thought I was going to get this and he promised me this. And here's the thing. People promise people things in their will and then don't do it. It happens all the time. And then they look at the lawyer and say, you did this. No, we didn't promise you but at the same time they might have told you that just to keep the peace and then they gave it to the person they really thought ought to have it or they told you you were going to get it and then they just gave it to all their kids because that's fair so um we've covered today uh we covered you know uh, general warranty deeds quit claim deeds 
limited warranty deeds. Um, we covered a little bit of estate planning stuff. You know,